We're starting on page 333 and we're going to be doing one of the tools that I like which is the touch type tool. The touch type tool allows you to make all kinds of individual changes to each character in the type that you have put in. So we're going to first go into our layers panel and collapsing both side one and side two. I'm going to actually lock those and same thing with side three and I'm going to put in a new layer and call that layer box top. And I'm going to slide that up on top of side three above that. Make sure that that is indeed the, the active layer. And I'm going to type Let's find my type tool and putting in some point type I'm just going to click and put in and W A C K Y. Now it looks a little screwy but you'll see what we're going to do. Now selecting all of that I am going to change my typeface to the ATC Pyrite Heavy and I'm going to change my font size to 56. I'm going to need to change my leading come on to 50 to get it to separate and then I want to right align my text. Now once I do that I'm going to have to drag this back. I want to center this and have it close to the top of the box top. So let's see, just kind of guessing at the center at this point. And then under your type tool, you should find your touch type tool. Now if you don't find the touch type tool there, you're going to have to go searching for it in your toolbar. Once you have that found, you're going to click the W to select it. Now the touch type tool allows you to do all kinds of things. You can scale this proportional, you can scale this uh, letter that you select horizontally or vertically, or you can rotate it, or you can move the baseline on it. So we're going to click inside the bounding box and drag down until the bottom is a little below the baseline of the second line. So pull this down about here. Then we're going to click the proportional scale handle and drag up. Now if you look in your guide, your proportional scale handle is lettered A, which is this one. And if you scale up with that, it's going to pull it proportionally. We want the W to be a little bit higher than the tops of the letters in the first line. So little bit more than what I did there. Then I'm going to click on the horizontal scale handle and drag it to the right to make the scaled character narrower. So this is the the lower left. We're just going to drag that in to scale that down. Then go back and pick up your type tool and put a an insertion point before that A in the second line and we're going to tighten the kerning up because you see how far that is apart. So if I go into my character panel, come on, open, it's being this way because of the recording again, and I want to change my kerning adjust everything. That's still not, oh yeah, that is doing what I wanted. You can also go in and tighten or loosen spacing as you see fit. So let me go in here and I'm going to kern out a little bit between the Y and the K. Um, and I think the rest of it looks all right. 
but we have a little overlapping problem here. So I need to put an insertion point in at the top of my first line. So let me see if I can figure out how to get there. And I'm going to actually use my arrow keys to help me position this. So I know that I'm getting into that, that first line. You'll have your, your flashing cursor is just going to be over that first line to help you. And then I'm going to increase my kerning until I have the A where I would like it. So this is a lot of kerning here, people. There we go. Swapping now to your selection tool, you're going to select all of that text and we're going to recenter that again. Try and get it right in the middle of the box top this time. We're going to go into Window and look for graphic style libraries and look for scribble effects. We can open the appearance panel and be able to look at the style as it's being applied. Click the top left style to apply it and you'll see what app what has been applied in the appearance panel. Click off and picking up your text tool you're going to create another point type object. You can just click that in to the side. We're going to drag that in. Uh, it's going to come up carrying the text that we had set so it's going to be off your screen. Call this Candy Company and if you'll pick up your selection tool and go then into your character panel you're going to change this first of all to a 15 point type and we want this to be ATC Coral and pick up Coral Normal and we're going to change the type fill to the custom pink swatch and I think we have might have to do some clearing up in here yes because it's also picked up some really weird styling in here so change your um, horizontal and vertical stretch back to a hundred percent zero out the uh, uh, the baseline shift and now we can do the custom pink swatch in our swatches panel I think I've got swatches open right now. So let me go to window and get my swatches and pick up that custom pink. And now we can pull that candy company underneath the word wacky. Select both of these items and group them. Create a new layer called Box Bottom. Leave that above the box top and now select the group on the box top layer if you let that drop and click on the selected art icon and hold down your alt key and drag to box bottom. That's going to should create a duplicate of that group 
yes. And then, let me zoom out, we can drag that to the box bottom and center it there. So I'm just going to hold my shift key down so that I can drag that straight down to the box bottom. And I need to go into my layers panel and lock box top. Good place to save. And then we'll move on to the other sec the next section in the next video.